I was just making some coconut date balls and I figured that I would show you guys the recipe. So it's pretty simple to make. Um, here's what you do. Here I have all of my dates in my food processor and basically just want to pit them all, put them in here. I use these Medjool dates. They're from 7hotdates.com and they're a wet pack and they're super gooey and yummy and amazing. So you want to put them in your food processor as many as you want. I'm actually making two batches because I'm going to make some chocolate coconut date rolls and then I'm going to make just some normal coconut date rolls. And then here I have some reduced fat organic coconut dried shredded coconut. So I always get the reduced fat stuff because it has 40% less fat than the other coconut that isn't reduced fat and it seems like the other stuff is just a lot more oily and I don't really like it. This stuff's more dried out, but it's still raw. It's um they just somehow dehydrate the oil out of it, kind of like they do that PB2 stuff. So you want to take this and then we're just going to dump some of this dried coconut into our food processor. So kind of just put, you know, a fourth of a cup in and then we'll process it and see if it's still like really wet. You kind of want it on the drier side because then they're easier to form. So we'll process this really quick. And then you're probably going to have to stop it a couple times and just push it all around. So we'll just put a little bit more in and then kind of just like push it down so that it processes it more. So now it's pretty processed. It's still pretty gooey, but if you're using wet dates, it's going to be more gooey. You're not going to get it super dry, but if you're using like just the conventional or not conventional, but just the normal dates that you buy in your store, they're not going to be a wet pack date, so they're going to be a lot drier, so your consistency is going to be different. Like these are really amazing. So you want to roll it into a ball. I like to make bigger ones because I could eat like, one time I made little ones and I ate like 20 of them. And then you kind of just feel like you're eating way too many. So there you have that. And um, I don't know, this is like the size of a golf ball or whatever. You can make them as big or as small as you want. You can make them into different things. You could roll it out on a sheet and like make, take your little cookie cutters and cut out like stars like you used to do for Christmas or you could cut out little Christmas trees and you could sprinkle coconut on them and you could do all kinds of stuff. So after you have your ball, you're going to want to take a bowl and this is just the bowl that I'm going to like serve them in and it's super pretty. So dump your coconut, like some more coconut in there and then just dunk it in there and then just roll it around for like two seconds and then you'll take it out and it'll be this perfect little coconut ball so then you know just put it like on a plate you kind of want them to dry out for a little bit because they're depending on you know the consistency of them if they're still like really gooey and stuff they'll stay formed like this but when you bite into them they're just gonna get all over everybody's hands and when you buy these in the store they're drier so you can let them dry out if you don't want them to dry out then just put them in like a glass container that has a lid whatever um so yeah then you just keep making more scooping and rolling and dipping okay so here we have our beautiful coconut date rolls so now we're gonna make the chocolate ones and pay attention because this can get really really tricky so you have your coconut date mixture whatever all you do is you take a teaspoon or whatever like a little I just use a spoon because I keep it in here for my smoothies but it's just um, raw vegan carob powder and you just put this hold on into here and just kind of like sprinkle it around. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Voila! And then you blend it up and then you have chocolate ones. So then you do the whole thing over again.
And if you don't want it to stick to your hands as much, just get your hands like a little bit wet before you start mixing it or rolling it. And then it won't stick to your hands like half as much. See? As you can see, they look exactly the same. This one's chocolate, this one's not chocolate. So if you want to be able to differentiate them, put them in different bowls or put little like toothpicks with flags that say chocolate on them or something, I don't know. And here are the finished chocolate ones. So this is a super simple, easy recipe to make. It's great for the holidays because you can give these out as Christmas cookies or instead of Christmas cookies. And it's a healthy treat for your family and your friends, and it's good for the environment, and it's good for the animals. So there's nothing better. So that's it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, and I will make more recipe videos in the near future. But I hope you all are having a fabulous day, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!